Hi, my name is Joseph Matia Daru. I'm 43 years old. I am actually South Africa's first blind barista. My journey started in 2014 when Innovation for the Blind opened the coffee shop and I was given the opportunity to become a barista. I was born in the small town called Velcom in the Free State. I was raised by my grandparents and when I was about three years old, that's when I noticed that my right eye is completely blind. And when I started my primary school, it was a lot of, there was a lot of challenges there because I couldn't see what the teacher wrote on the board and I could hardly read on the book as well. And I completely went blind in 2010 and I moved to Vusta to pursue my studies in one of uh, Innovation for the Blind College. That's where I was spotted and I was given the opportunity to become the barista. I think everything started from home because I could see with simple tea at home. My parents and my grandparents actually, they were fond of tea. They always liked to brew tea and always enjoyed a cup of tea. And when I was given the opportunity to become a barista, I went for it because it was something that I really, really wanted to experience. I did my training with um, SCA, which is Speciality Coffee Association. I did my foundation and I also did my intermediate. I'm currently working on my facilitator course. Unfortunately, because of it's a world standard thingy, then they don't allow any leniency. I, I was supposed not to, to spill even a drip. Also, I had to work under extreme pressure whereby I have to make four drinks within six minutes according to the world standard. I'm able to train and I started with the visually impaired persons here from Innovation for the Blind. It's almost about 23 of them. A lot of work when we start because I have to try and apply my skills, knowledge and to try to see each and every one of them, how they progress and so I can cater for each and every one because their abilities isn't the same. So I have to, uh, you know, have a little bit of patience and take them one step at a time. But I'm quite impressed with what we have uh, achieved so far. And for me also, it was like honing my skills when it comes to uh, barista training. I decided to do a barista training course to have that skill behind me and because I love coffee and it's fun to make coffees. Currently, I am working at a restaurant called Sirocco Cafe in Cork Bay and I am a waitress there. I thought it would be an amazing opportunity to learn from someone as special as Joseph Matiata from Innovation for the Blind who has found other ways to make coffee other than with your eyes, um, which I think makes the experience deeper because coffee is an all-round experience, it's taste, it's smell, it's texture, so to experience it through all of your other senses other than sight was very interesting and amazing. It has been such a wonderful journey and having Kira and Meg here and two ladies from Fishwork and then when they came this side I could tell that uh, we're gonna do magics in here. I was impressed because I wasn't expecting that. I thought perhaps there might be some struggles here and there but because of my, my, my experience with visually impaired people that I've trained I knew very well that if I have to train a fully sighted person, it's just like a walk in the park and amazing. They were not aware that maybe perhaps a cappuccino and a flat white and this, the weight is the same and you know, pouring the right volume of milk in the pitcher without seeing that. And I also told them that it's possible they can do that. And then you know, for them to have mastered that pouring, you know, just following what I say and then they get it exactly on the right levels all the time. So it's amazing. We worked together and then it was nice for them to, to learn how to use some other senses as well. So what I loved most about the way that Joseph taught me how to make coffee is how hands-on he made the experience. So every single step of the way, he would check in, okay, did you measure this? Let me feel the texture of your milk. And he really, really gets involved in, in the process and just felt like we were really getting mentored and just how sort of gentle and patient he is while he teaches. It's really um, easy to follow and to learn along with him. This morning we, we were calibrating the grinder and then I asked them to fill the grounds if they are coarser because with their eyes they can see whether it's 
cause the RF too fine, but it cannot be accurate until they feel with their hands. And especially when temping the coffee as well, when we started with them, they thought it's evenly compacted until I feel it with my hands. That's when they started realizing, okay, come and feel here. And then they could feel that, oh, it's slightly in this side. But it wasn't really bad because it, I would say it was 90, 92% or 98%, but I wanted 100%. And then they started realizing that and they corrected that and they mastered that. What I took away from this experience with Joseph was just how intricate and precise the coffee making process is. If you really take a look into each step and every detail, um, all the components that make up a good cup of coffee. So we did theory, we did practical, and we had to measure out the exact grams of the coffee. We had to time the extraction through the through the coffee grounds and when you're frothing the milk there's like a, a certain period of time where he describes the sound as a paper tearing sound and that's when you know that your milk is frothing and creating the little micro bubbles. You know the sound, the sound is very important when you make coffee, hearing, you, you need to listen to what your students are doing. I can hear what they are doing, whether it was right and I can pick, easily pick it up whether they make a mistake or if they skip one step there while they are making coffee by just listening. If I can teach a blind person who doesn't know and show them all the techniques, I have to feel their hands and show them. And with a sighted person, it becomes easier for me, like uh, when I, what I did with Kira and Meg, because I can just demonstrate and then they just pull and do exactly the same. It, it, it looks like I can even take fully sighted, I mean, more than five or even more than 10 at the same time because it becomes easy. You teach one, the rest are watching what you're doing, unlike visually impaired persons whereby it has to be one-on-one. -on -one. Apart from learning about coffees, I think Joseph has taught me a lot in other areas. For example, his perseverance in doing what he loves, no matter what comes his way. I think he's a very inspiring and positive person. And he's definitely taught me to reconsider my dreams and to look past anything that might stand in my way. We as blind people, we are able to maneuver whether it's dark or light. We can master both. Unlike a sighted person who struggles in the dark, they can, they can, they, they can work independently on their own. Therefore, it becomes easy for me to, to be able to train those who are blind and those who are fully sighted. I would highly recommend the barista training course with Joseph. I think it's an amazing experience and Joseph is an amazing teacher and I think that everyone can learn a lot from Joseph, especially when it comes to making coffees.